Hello and welcome to VR Views. Today we're reviewing the Mezco Walter White in blue suit. So yes, here we have Walter White from Breaking Bad. This is a blue suit version. I know that there is also a yellow and an orange one and possibly other ones. I decided to make lots of variations of this figure. Uh, unfortunately, Mezco decided to put no articulation into these figures whatsoever, which is very strange. I know that Mezco knows what articulation is because they have a very nice Hellboy line and their Heroes line has some articulation in it and stuff, so I don't really know what's up with this, but this is essentially just a tiny plastic statue. That being said, as really the only negative about this series, um, they are very nicely detailed, have reasonable lightness, and are fairly cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and zoom in on the sculpt, paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, let's start with a quick size comparison. Here we have Walter White. Here is our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Superior Spider-Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. As you can tell, Walt is just a little bit taller than Spider-Man, so he's roughly in the 6 inch kind of scale. Not quite sure how tall Brian Cranston is, but that seems reasonable, I suppose, that Spider-Man is a slightly shorter character. And, of course, he is way taller than a Marvel Universe figure. Now, let's get everything else out of here and just look at Mr. White. Moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see Walt. He is mostly wearing this very light, sort of mint, bluey-green uh, suit. Uh, it's like a, a biohazard suit or a chemical sort of protection suit. I don't know what the technical term for it is. It's got a white zipper down the front. It has a little bit of detail to it. Pretty nice. Lots of little creases and stuff all in the cloth. Uh, he has holding hands down by his sides there for holding his accessories. He's got some sort of brown moccasins, which are very nicely detailed down there on his feet. He's got a little hood there that's poking out in the back of his suit. So, yeah, body detail-wise, pretty good. I have no real issues with it. Uh, very nicely detailed and very accurate to one of the things he wore in the show. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in on that head sculpt. Zooming in on the head sculpt here, you can see Walt. He uh, bears a reasonable resemblance to uh, Brian Cranston from the show, at least at the point whenever he looked like this and had the goatee and no hair and stuff. His uh, appearance changed a little bit throughout the seasons, but this is probably his more iconic look. Um, lots of nice wrinkles sculpted into the face. The eyes and the goatee are painted fairly nicely. Um, he does have a little bit of shading there on the head. I think overall the sculpting is pretty good. It's not a perfect likeness, but it's close enough to work. Now, unfortunately, this figure has zero articulation, which is really annoying, so we'll have to go ahead and move on to the accessories. And since we're already zooming in on the head, we'll go ahead and look at the glasses real quick that he comes with, which just sort of plug right there, slip behind his ears, and they work fairly well. Uh, they have a little clear bits of plastic there in the front, and they're uh, some of the best accessory glasses that I've seen. They actually fit on there really nicely and snugly. They slip behind the ears just like real glasses would. And, um, yeah, they fit on there very nicely. They're certainly a nice additive to the figure. And then Mr. White comes with a little bit of glassware. Uh, two flasks and a, uh, a bodily sort of thing that you would keep chemicals in. That's actually probably more likely to be plastic than glass. But it could be glass. Who knows? You can make anything out of glass, including bottles. And, uh, yeah, you can fit any of those in his hands, although since his hands are not movable or anything, he's just kind of holding them down by his side, which means they're probably pouring out all over the floor. Anyway, that wraps it up for Walt and all of his accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging, why Walt comes in the same sort of packaging that this entire series does? Got a picture of Heisenberg up here at the top, Breaking Bad logo, you got your big window here for the figure. Walter White, collectible figure, and a picture of Walt down there at the bottom. On the back, you get a picture of the Heisenberg version of this figure, as well as some other little collectibles that I don't really have any interest in. I also probably won't get the Heisenberg figure either, though, so uh, if you're interested in that stuff, they are available. As is always the case with blister cards, this is good for in or out of package display, so yeah, Walter White. All right, the rhymes are for Walt, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.